So I wanted to jump on here and do a quick review of the cardigan that I have on and also my first pair of jeans that I made. So if you guys are interested in this quick pattern review, go ahead and stick around. So if you guys watch my fall sewing plans, I talked about some things that I wanted to knock out for this fall and I wore two of the items that I made in that fall sewing plans video today to work and i wanted to come on here and give you a quick like pattern review of them so this pattern review was going to be quick because i'm going to be doing two in one um but i wanted to go on here and show you guys how those items turned out that were in my fall sewing plans that i was able to whip up rather quickly so this pattern is mccall 6996 this is an older pattern i believe this pattern came out yeah it says 2014 um, I was able to find this pattern in the drawers just this past weekend because I went and picked up a larger size. I used to use the other size, which was the uh, extra small through medium, I believe. And then now I have the large through double XL. I ended up making this one and I started off with a size medium. However, I did like take it out a bit um, because I wanted it to be a little bit uh, less fitted than the other ones that I had because I made those years ago, so I'm in a different size now. But I wanted to go ahead and pick up this pattern in the last sale, so I went um, just this past week and picked up this bigger one. So when I make it in the future, I won't have to make any alterations because it kind of did, you know, like kind of throw the pattern off a little bit, but not to, you know, the point where I couldn't wear it. I actually just ended up having to like put a pleat in the back of um, this cardigan to be able to like line up um, like the shoulder seams but other than that it came together really quickly like it did before um, I did want to do view C um, in this version which has the like kind of lapel collar but I didn't have enough of the fabric I really wanted to go with that ruffle that was in the back so I gave up the lapel to have that ruffle in the back so you guys will see because I'll be inserting um, pictures and videos of course of me in the cardigan but my preference in this uh, pattern is view C with the lapel, but I do love like the flounce that comes in the back. So yeah, this is a pretty straightforward pattern. This pattern you need to use uh, stretch knits or double knits. So I wouldn't recommend um, your thinner ones. I would say more of a thicker knit, like your double knits. Uh, they are recommending that you use, um, it says jersey interlocks um, and double knits and sweater knits. So yeah it's really really quickly there's only a few steps actually in the view that i did which was view well it's view a because i didn't do the one with the lapel even though like i said i prefer c i did view a and that only has four pattern pieces so you have your uh, front piece and you also have an upper back piece and a lower back piece because you have that flounce and then you have a sleeve. So four pieces all together with this one. And for this pattern, like I literally, because I've done it so many times, I just put it together on my own. You really can do this at a beginner level. It's really, really simple. Um, of course, I would suggest if you hadn't done this pattern before that you read through the instructions before um, making it up. But you can make it one time and then after that, you don't even need any instructions after that. But love how it turned out. And again, I'm so glad I actually was able to get the uh, larger size in the drawers because seeing as though it is a older pattern, sometimes they are like phasing those drawers out and making room for the newer pattern. So I'm so glad I was able to get that. Um, it is a fall staple. Like I love these cardigans. They are just so nice and they just really dress up an outfit. Um, I have like a sleeveless um, turtleneck under here just um, so it's not as high and I don't feel as restricted. So these are perfect. You could put a camisole under here, um, but really, really love it definitely would recommend so the other thing that i wanted to review really quickly was a jean pattern so i ended up doing uh simplicity 8655 which is a mimi g pattern and there are a pair of uh, skinny jeans in here and a pair of flares so on her tutorial she gives you step-by-step -step instructions um i did look through there but i do think you can still put it together just by reading the instructions that comes in the pattern envelope and so for me i ended up cutting a size 18 
um, because I did use a denim that had a nice stretch and it's recommended that you use a denim with stretch with this pattern. So I ended up using this denim and you see it has like a, I'll come a little closer. It has a really nice stretch. I know for sure though, like if I were to get a, a denim that didn't stretch as much as these did, I wouldn't be able to fit the 18. I would have had to do the 20. And when I was like sewing it up, I was kind of worried that they weren't gonna fit, but they fit. I will say though that these jeans, they come together really nicely. I feel like they look nice, but they are like, if you wanna be like really snatched in them, you're gonna have to have shapewear under there because they will accent whatever you got going on because they are high waisted and they're very slim. I did extend um, the length just a little bit, um, but they're because the view that I did is like a crop view, which is the view B, and it has pin tucks down it. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to do the pin tucks, but I actually did end up um, doing them. And But I think when I make these again, because I do want to make a pair in black, I'm going to make them longer so they'll go all the way down and then I probably won't do the pin tucks um, down the front and back the way the pattern suggests. But I want to at least for the first try do this pattern the way um, the instructions intended it to be. You just need an invisible zipper for the side so this is not a fly front um, pair of uh, jeans. Um, and it for me falls a little bit more of like a boot cut. So I ended up just wearing them with a pair of boots, like a pair of ankle boots. Um, but I think when I make the other pair, the black, I will taper them more to be like more like a skinny. And I was going to do that with these, but then I ended up just trying them on with some boots and I just decided, you know, I said, you know what, these are gonna be my like boot cut pants. And then they'll also be good too when I wear like with higher boots that cover them up. But yeah, really, really like this pattern. I would recommend it. What year is this pattern? See if I can find it on here. This is a 2020 pattern, so it's not too old. So you guys will probably still be able to get these. And I think for sure next summer I'm gonna make me some more flares. I just feel like flare jeans are more like a summer um jean because I personally like to wear them with like flat sandals. As always, if you guys have any questions, just go ahead and leave them in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer you if you have any questions. But yeah, they're pretty simple to come together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I have more coming because I'm on a roll. Like I said in my last video, I've been sewing. I've already cut out um, the leggings that I shared in my fall sewing plants and I'm actually going to cut out one of the skirts that I talked about in that fall sewing plan. So going to be sewing some more over the next few days and sharing that new to the channel. But yeah, if you like videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Until next time, bye.